Good evening, traders. Today is Monday, November 28th, 4.20 p.m. Central Time. The markets are already closed. Well, what do we have today? VIX up 7.85% at the time of close. And it continues to be up right now in the futures market slightly. Wow, it gapped up big time. Okay, big time. Does that mean the rally is over? Is it really game over? It sure looks like it, doesn't it? Dow today down negative 497 points. NASDAQ negative 176. S&P negative 62. Big losses, right? Down over each one of the indexes. Indexes are basically down negative 1.5% on the day. What do you guys think? Is it really over with? I actually say no. That I think tomorrow... There is a 70% chance of a rally. Yes, I do think that. And I'm going to show you why I think that momentarily. Okay. So let's get to the next slide. Well, well, if you watched my morning's outlook, which is down here, right there, there's the morning outlook. I predicted that. Let's uh, move over here. This dotted uh, line right here is actually the bottom of the channel that I presented uh, this morning. Okay, and I said, you know, don't be surprised if we fall out of that channel. We may fall out of that channel and move down into this, these lower, I call them sub channels, because this is the main channel, main bottom of the channel. We have been at the bottom of that channel now for a good, oof week week and a half i have to go back and look i'll show you the, uh, that chart momentarily but don't be surprised if we actually fall down to these sub channels which we did today we went two levels down to be exact and kissed that line right there but i also said in this morning's prediction i said just because we fall into the sub channel does not mean the rally's over because it is still a higher high from a previous data point okay I showed that in the channel. So it is very much not over with, guys. And I'm going to show you. Okay, here we go. You, you see this right here? This, according to, remember my one. Here, let me, let me put on my laser pointer. One, two, three count. It has completed the one, two, three count on the hourly time frame, on the hourly MACD today. And for the you newer viewers who have no idea what I'm referring to, I highly encourage you to watch this video right here. This is the big mover patterns. Okay, please, please, please watch that one if you want to know what I mean when I say one, two, three. We completed one, two, three today. Three is a higher low. Higher low than number two, despite the Dow being down almost 500 points today okay and despite despite the markets falling out of the primary channel right so the dotted lines are the primary lower end of the channel it fell out of it and dropped two levels down actually so you're thinking whoa this is like this is the end but actually I think it's the beginning tomorrow will be a rally now I'm gonna say that provided that uh, we in pre-markets tomorrow morning we get the proper follow-through of this MACD I'm gonna get into that a little bit later okay but I'm just gonna mention it for now so um, for the for you newer viewers please check out these top three videos up here because they are higher level in terms of uh, uh, talking about um, not day trade but higher level trends all right we're talking about the the four hour trends the the half day the 195 minute trends for example okay uh and in the background here you'll see green the green font that is forest you see forest 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 down here you see trees and trees trees are what i'm going to get into momentarily okay but you cannot lose sight of the forest from the trees okay that's the metaphor that i like to use all right so Let's further get into um, what I was speaking of a moment ago. But first, before we get into that one, two, three count that you saw a moment ago, check out the VIX today. 
this is what I presented this morning uh, in the morning session. Huge gap up. And I said, watch for VIX. Let's see if VIX can hold this first level right here. At opening bell, it did not hold, but it did not fall significantly either, right? I was thinking, well, if you can't hold this, the next level down is going to be right here, and, and the next level down is going to be right there. It didn't reach either one of those, okay? It basically just stayed and hovered up here. But even though it was staying and hovering, it was failing the, the five minute EMA 50 line right here. See, this is the one that's curving right there. It was failing that pretty much all day. It didn't make a move until the end of the day. So for all intents and purposes, VIX did not surge. It didn't do anything. All it did was just gap up and stay at this level. It gapped up and stayed and, and, and coiled horizontally. Okay. And you know what, what the markets were doing consequently were Here's here's TQQQ five minutes chart. See that? It tried. It did a little head fake at the beginning at the, at opening bell right here. But guess what? The back test. You know me. I talk about that all the time. The back test failed. And then after the back test failed right here at this moment, okay. And so uh, uh, for the you newer viewers, please go back and go and watch the the video where I talk about the trees. Those two videos at the bottom. Those are the trees because now I'm getting into the trees here in this discussion, okay? It's failing, it failed on the back test, and all day, the rest of the day, failed to over, not, not overtake, retake the EMA 50. See that? It failed, failed to retake. Try again, failed to retake. Failed, failed, failed. And then, by the end of the day, it couldn't even come back and take the SMA 20 line, okay? All right, now, but I want to point out a couple of arrows. Now watch this, back to the VIX. On the five minute chart, look at the huge bearish divergence right here on the MACD, huge. Even though, look at that, there's not a lot of, there's not, it's, it's basically horizontal, right? We, we, we can agree to that. This top is about the same as this top, right? Basically horizontal, but that's not horizontal. That's bearish, okay? And on the five minute chart, this is what I look for. This is what I look for for a bottom. On the five minutes chart on TQQQ, this is higher. Okay, so this is lower than that. We can agree to that, right? This point right here. But this, this is higher than that. You have bullish divergence now. You have bullish divergence, okay? Now, that is not in and of itself enough for me to say, oh, we're gonna rally tomorrow. Okay, that's not that's not enough. But what I want to show you, let's check this out. Okay, the VIX, the VIX, four hours chart. You want to see something that's glaring? Green, red, green, red. After a gap up like this. Remember that green, red, green, red pattern that I'm referring to, okay? That green, red, green, red, hold on a second. Um, that is in reference to, I encourage you to please watch this right here. Green, red, green, red, big mover patterns, okay? So we're on the four hours chart. That happened today, guys, today. So, therefore, that is highly suggestive of a big move down tomorrow. Oh, it could be as early as tomorrow, okay? It could be as early as tomorrow. But that is highly suggestive of a big move down. When was the last time we saw green, red, green, red? Well, in this case, red, green, red, green. What happened? Boom, 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 boom. Okay? So... That is what I saw. That's what when I saw that forming today, I was like, okay, here we go. Here we go. So here's the VIX one hour chart. Now, let's look at the MACD here. This is starting to flatten. And let's see about tonight in uh, extended hours and tomorrow morning in pre markets. Does it start to curl down? If it starts to curl down, 
Therefore, the next target, let's see here. Draw this out, draw that out. Oh, no, it's not line. It's what I need to be doodle. I need to be doodling. If it really starts to curl down, really what you can expect is something like this. I'm I'm just I'm just drawing something like that a, a pretty significant fall so that it creates a higher low but I'm looking for a big fall if it really starts to curl down tonight on the VIX this is the one hour VIX one hour okay it is very possible it will do that very very possible okay so that's the one hour chart so let us see what happens you know are we so this one here, yeah, we're all, we're back on the four hour chart. Okay, now let's look at Nasdaq. Okay, so this is a Nasdaq four hour Nasdaq futures four hours chart, and this is what I showed this morning. I said, don't be surprised. Uh, and what I was talking about, maybe it doesn't matter if it falls out of the main channel, because technically, it can go all the way down to this line right here, and still be see that. A higher low <laughs> yeah it, it can guys it tech it possibly can so it fell 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 as I discussed this morning you know it, it, it could stop any one of these levels it could even stop here and still and the rally is still alive it won't feel alive <laughs> it won't feel alive to you guys but it technically is and and this being the four hours chart so this is one and this is point 0.2 so this is you know this is point 0.1 and this is point 0.2 on the four hour chart and so this point is negative 32.55 this point is negative 31.48 so it very much has a possible a chance of on the four hour chart of flattening out tonight we need to see what futures looks like tonight and going into pre-markets tomorrow. I suspect it futures are going to be slightly up. I suspect if we if futures are slightly up tonight and going into tomorrow futures are still up then the rally's on. The rally is on. Okay? Yeah, that uh, let's 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 check out the 1 hour. Okay, see this hear this here? This is point 1, point 2, point 3. 2 and 3. 3 is a higher low than 2. And and at this point this is still a higher this is still a higher low than this. It's not a lower low. It's not a lower low. And now you have 1 2 3. You have the you have the notch completed. What I want to what I what we need to see happen Okay. Today, by the way, I did not buy anything because I said, nah. As you saw earlier in those charts between the VIX and TQQQ, there wasn't any commitment, right? Neither one of them really declared anything. So I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to place a trade because you don't know which way it's going to go. I want to show you what needs to happen. This is the one hour chart. The one hour chart. This is critical. By tomorrow morning, we need to see this. Oops. By tomorrow morning, we need to see this happen. We need to see the red line cross over the green line. It has if if that happens, oh yeah, it's rally on. I I think there's a 65-35% chance that it's going to happen. But we need to see, let me get rid of that one. We need to see this red line curl up. I think it's going to do it. I think it's going to do it. But I'll when we wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to see what's up. This As soon as it starts to curl up and cross over the green line, right? I think what we're talking about, ah, hold on, let me get rid of that, draw Get rid of the drawing. Boom. I think we're going to get a big move to the upside. I think that's what we're going to, that's what's going to happen. Okay. 
So, um, it seems like, you know, when you look at today, wow, Dow's down nearly 500 points. It seems like we're losing steam. But when you look at, here, let's zoom in a little bit. See this gray line? I drew this gray line right here. Look at that. Touched it once, touched it twice, actually touched it a third time. Are we going to touch it a fourth time? Maybe, maybe not. This this could be the low. This could be the higher low. See that? This could be the higher low and then boom, to the upside. Because we have completed points one, two, and three. One and two was forming during Thanksgiving with a shortened week. One and two. One and two. Three formed today. Completed. Almost completed today. Okay? So... We are not out of the woods yet, guys. I mean, no, we're not. We're not out of the. No, it's better to say we're not out of the ball game. The ball game is not over. Even though it did not look good today, the rally is still intact. And I, I, yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. We need to see the, on the hourly chart the MACD curl up and cross over the green signal line right there. We need to see that happen. Once that happens. It's game on. The rally is going to be game on, big time. Uh, back to the VIX. As I showed you. <laughs> green, red, green, red. Last time we saw red, green, red, green. What happens? Bam. And because we have a big gap up. Now the question, like we had here. Big gap up. And what happened? Down, 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 right? Are we going to fill that? Is VIX going to collapse tomorrow and fill that gap tomorrow? That it gap that it left today? See that? Okay. So a lot of things to think about. Um, but nonetheless, it is most definitely uh, some food for thought. That even though, even though it looked ugly 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 today okay see that I mean the, the the markets just couldn't get momentum it couldn't recapture the five minute EMA the EMA 50 on the five minute chart it just couldn't do it period okay but I think it's 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 contrary to what people think that could happen tomorrow but we need to let the futures market and uh, tomorrow morning's pre-market confirm this pattern on the MACD one hour for the T or NASDAQ futures that I think it's going to curl up guys I think it's going to curl up it's 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 the opposite of what you what you might think okay so that is what I have for you guys today if you'd like to follow me on Twitter feel free to do so where I uh, I actually uh, actually why don't I show you that today real fast I was actually tweeting during the day. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Definitely a slog morning, right? As I was, I was. It was, it was clear. You know, nothing was happening. Uh, I didn't bite on this. I was like, nah, this is a head fake. This is a head fake. And so, both are under the EMA 50 line. Talked about that five hours ago. Vix is making the first move. Part of me. This is three hours ago. Part of me suspects this could be a bear trap. And that's what I was referring to when I said, you know what, I think we're going to possibly rally here tomorrow. Not, not, not at this very moment that I sent the tweet out, okay? So, yeah, I think it's a bear trap. Possibly. Okay? All right, and if you like this uh, video, please give it a like. Share it with fellow traders or your friends or subscribe. Or click to be notified. All right, and with that, I leave you with my calling card again. I am Agent Double O. I am signing off.